Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabat Tufillah, the question was asked should I travel overseas or should I learn a trade? And that my opportunity to travel overseas in order to seek Islamic knowledge is uh, limited and it's a rare opportunity. Should I seek a trade or should I travel? So this is a question that's been posed many times and to many uh, scholars and students of knowledge regarding this issue. So there's a lot of information out there. And so really that situation, when a person is in a situation like this, that is up to them to determine what's going to be best for them. Because no doubt the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, قَالَ بِالْعِلْمْ فَرِيدَةٌ عَلَى كُلِّ مُسْلِمْ وَمُسْلِمَةٌ That seeking Islamic knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim male and female. So we've already established that it's an obligation to learn the obligatory duties. Not that everyone has to be a scholar, or everyone has to be a student of knowledge, but everyone has to have something of knowledge so that they can practice their religion properly. They need to know their creed. Because many of the Muslims, in fact, you'll find, do not know much about the correct creed, the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So that's first and foremost. Another thing to consider is that in going abroad is looking at your age in that you know you need to consider are you cut out to seek knowledge and what I mean by that is some people might be discouraged by that and some people might totally disagree with me in that but I'm just speaking only from my experience and what I've seen and not everyone is geared to do Talib al-ilm because that is really a sacrifice, meaning that not everyone's going to do a high level of knowledge that they want to come back and do dawa and come back and you know do lectures or whatever their goal is or to be a sheikh or what have you. That's why there's not that many ulama. This is in the Muslim world. There's many ulama, but what I'm saying is not everyone's an, an alim. You know, if you look at the ulama in comparison to the society, you know, what the masses are are upon and what the masses understand of their religion, there's a, 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 a quite a gap and there's quite a different reality. So it's very important to have realistic goals. If you think that you're not a person who's going to strive and be ready to sacrifice whatever it takes and put in the hours and be serious, then perhaps that path may not be for you and that maybe you can help the deen in another way, especially if you can do some Islamic studies in your locality. So those are things that you have to consider with regards to you and your lifestyle. Are you of those who are going to fit under the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said, مَنْ سَلَكَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمِسَهُ بِهِ عِلْمًا سَحَّلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا لَلْجَنَّةِ that Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. Are you one of those who are going to really traverse that path? Because I know many people who left to go to Damaj, even myself, who didn't stay. And many people who went and literally bought and invested, and within a month they left. And even left Talib al -Ilm. So this depends on the amount of sacrifice that you're able to uh, put into this and it depends upon your desire. Do you have the rugba, and do you have the, uh, you know, the the willingness, the desire, and the fortitude, and the patience to be strong on that path? Because it's a strict, it's a steep path. If it was simply gaining some money and traveling, then so many people would have, would have attained it. But we can think of countless, many people, many, many, many people who went on that path who are unable to attain much or due to sickness or family issues or uh, whatever obstacles or they just couldn't deal with the extreme environments in which they tried to seek knowledge in. Whatever the case may be, it is a steep path 
And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with success and bless us with ilm al nafia wa rizqan tayyiba wa amal al And the last thing I want to mention is that do not think that seeking a trade is a negative thing because that may give you the tools and the wealth and the income to where later when you are more mature to seek knowledge and you are more serious that you will have the means because often you have many people who go, they seek knowledge and maybe they don't gain either. They don't gain the Islamic knowledge because they didn't have the patience or the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they lost out in their uh, studies, you know, their university degrees or whatever they were trying to achieve and sometimes they find that they have some uh, shortcomings in in both spheres. So it's very important to look and be and analyze your situation and see what you're willing and ready to do to learn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen.